All right, I'm here. It's kind of chilly and it is sprinkling a little bit. Great. Alrighty, let's go in there. And we're in. Just so you know, at some point, I'm going to have to mute the audio or do a voiceover like I'm doing now or add some copyright free music because they do play regular music at these events and that could have, um, whatever they call it, a copyright uh, strike or something along those lines. So just keep that in mind. If it doesn't make a lot of sense, it's because of that. Thanks. It's a four-speed car, 1972, 50K, 989751-2789, and it is an LT1.
car. So 1976, and uh, it is for sale. It's automatic, and uh, it seems to be in pretty decent shape. Oh Lord! And uh, here's the uh, phone number. So 76 Corvette 29.5, and uh, let me check again. It's an automatic. And uh, he's got the wrong tail. That's from the uh, 80 through 82, but um, not an uncommon modification. Again, it's somewhat custom. <laughs> A few custom touches, if you can call them that. It looks pretty, pretty decent. I think this is a pretty good deal. Seventy-one for fifteen thousand. Like you said, it's only been parked here for a little while, and uh, it is a uh, convertible. Yeah. It's got these god awful side pipes, but that's something that someone can fix. And uh, it is a four-speed car. Yeah, well, as you can I, see, it's raining here now. It's starting to drizzle a little bit, but uh, it's a real beaut. It's not a cream puff by any stretch of the imagination, but it is. It is really, really nice. Good. <laughs> but that's you know that's the way I got it. You know, it needs paint, needs a top. I mean, it, you know, it needs stuff. I know that. But, uh, you know, the frame on it's really good. It's got all new, you know, brakes, faster shot, you know, rotors, calipers, brake lines, fuel tank. Really sweet. And here's something a little different for you guys. Uh, there are so many cool vehicles there at the... Uh, the turkey run that it would take i mean it would be a a, a youtube series to to cover everything but uh, i thought uh, you know to throw a couple of interesting vehicles just because i mean look at this blower i mean i guess one is not enough so you know this is so cool i really like stuff like this so anyway i hope you enjoy these little breaks in between corvettes I think this one was here last time I was at the Speedway. There's the info. It's automatic. And it looks familiar, so maybe it was here before. 
71 24995 this Daytona style hood so here we have a very nice 1968 convertible no price or contact info it is, it's got a Georgia tag and uh, but it looks really really sharp that's too bad when people don't don't list the price or show the price it's a yeah it's a four-speed car and you can see the unique one year only door latch door mechanism rather beautiful automatic and it's got the rallies side pipes if you're into that sort of thing it's got a molded uh, it's got the newer tail it's in pretty pretty nice shape but I I don't know the specifics of course but it looks good I don't really care for those headlights but anyway it is what it is
Hey, by the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you click that button. That would be awesome. Thank you so much. Just gotta talk over this horrible music they play play here at the speedway for whatever reason. I don't know who it is, but uh, it's nothing but oldies. So <laughs> anyway, this is an LT1. I have no idea what year this is. 71 maybe. Four speed. I have no idea. Let's look at the grill. Yes, it's 71, I think, because of the little screws instead of studs. I think the 70 had those. And it's got the uh, clear lenses, so I'm going to guess it's a 71. So, please comment. Let me know what you, what you think. Oh my god. Seriously, Elvis? Yeah, well. Hello. 71. Very cool. And uh, I had to include this Bricklin. Not sure if it's a 74 or a 75. This thing was in really nice condition. And they're pretty rare nowadays. Uh, well, they didn't make that many to start with. This, they were all called the SV1s, safety vehicle one, I suppose that was the, uh, the whole idea. Hence those gigantic bumpers. But uh, they're pretty cool, I think. More of this god awful music. Good Lord. I'm gonna get a copyright strike because of this horrible music they play here. Oh Lord, who ch who picked that that one? Yeah. 
And of course I had to include this beautiful square body, early 70s I'm guessing here. Uh, 74, 75 model. I used to have a blazer similar to this, a K5. This one is the uh, Custom Deluxe 10. Beautiful condition. I love the uh, the, the green paint, the um, fake wood paneling on the sides. Frankly, I would love to have this even as a daily. Um, I have no idea how much they were asking for it, but it's a beautiful pickup. Very nice. Nineteen seventy two Stingray Roadster. Very nice. I don't know if this is the original paint. Probably not. But you never know with these cars. It looks like someone put a new top on it. Very nice. The luggage rack. Either you love it or you hate it. I'm not a fan of them. But it's a very nice car. It's a, it's an automatic. And you can tell it's a 72, there's no fiber optics. And also it has the amber lenses, the front. Very cool. So here's something very unique. This is a 1981 Corvette Roadster. And um, the last factory made Roadster C3 was the uh, 1975 model. And uh, then they got discontinued. So this one is of course a custom uh, build. It seems to be done right, but I, I didn't talk to the uh, seller or the owner, so I have no idea as far as the specifics, frame reinforcements and all that, but the car looked really good. Interesting. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You don't see one of these very often. Wow, that's pretty cool. Damn, this thing is like a mile long. Very cool. Is that a suspension? This the Cruiser, very nice. I always like these. Spoilers back here, keep the window clean. <laughs> very cool. Yeah, it's not a Corvette, but who cares? This is awesome. Check it out. Oh my goodness. And I always like those, those rims. Had an Omega that had those. Very cool. So this 1980 Corvette is one of those rare vehicles that you don't see very often, if at all. This car has the original 7,000 miles since it was bought brand new down in Miami. He purchased the car from the widow of the original owner who basically kept it garage because he didn't want to uh, put the car at risk. And of course, after 40 years, you end up with a car that looks brand new. And um, he, um, he did a f he made a few changes the new owner did um they're very tasteful but if you're looking for ncrs and bloomington gold type of standards those things matter for example the valve covers are from a 1981 corvette same thing for the uh, air cleaner lid it's supposed to be black this one is kind of that polished chrome look so that would be, uh, you know, wrong in, in those judging scenarios. But they're easily replaced, and I believe he kept all the original parts. So, I mean, look at the engine bay, the, the engine, all the components, they look brand new because they are. And the thing is, you know, the asking price was $40,000. So it's major sticker shock. 
the thing is, you know, if you're gonna take a decent looking car and restore it, you're gonna spend more than that. That's the thing that people don't realize. I've done that many times. So sometimes it's better just to bite the bullet and get the best car that you can afford and be done with it.
way, if you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. A like really helps and it tells me what you guys enjoy watching. So thank you so much. my sign. I think I'm gonna have to head out. Go, go home. Bummer. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Believe it or not, I captured on video 24 C3 Corvettes, so I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Take care. Bye.